Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Everybody's alright today. It's Friday, July 7th. Currently it's 74 degrees. High today is 87. It's been pretty warm. It really has. Uh, the humidity is up some too. Uh, no chance of rain though. And wind is 5 mile per hour right now. Okay. Today I'll have an out and about with Mike and Joy when we took Kitty to the vet. It's it's not real far away, but it's right outside of town, kind of. Um, but she needed her uh, checkup, you know, and I think she had to get a rabies shot. So she got, we got all that done with her. She wasn't happy at all. Yeah. She wouldn't fit good in the uh, carrier that we've been using. Not that we couldn't have got her in it. I just, she didn't. She liked like she was kind of afraid putting putting her in it. She didn't used to. She would just like walk in it. But I think she's got gotten to where she knows that if she gets in that, that she's going to the vet. Um, so you know, I'm not gonna force her in it. It was too small. We we think it was too small. She she could fit in it, but we're gonna. I had uh, we had the cardboard one that we actually brought Kitty home in, or Joy did, from the pound when she. Uh, rescued her so and that was bigger so we used it just for this one time but before she goes back the next time we're going to get her a bigger uh, carrier so she'll be more comfortable but she wasn't happy <laughs> uh, okay so yeah that'll be out today and you can see the mountains pretty good uh, coming back I believe it was um, Okay, what's for dinner? I'm not for sure about this, but I know we need to need to have some because we've had it for a little while. Uh, stir fry. We got some chicken stir fry and egg rolls. It's not old or anything. I think we got it not this last time at Walmart, but the time before. And I've got it in a freezer bag. So I'm sure it'll be okay. And we got some egg rolls that we got at Kroger, I think, that we'll uh, try some vegetable egg rolls. So that'll be good. And I have a taste test today. Hadn't done one in a little while. A morning coffee break. Um, I got these at Kroger. There's a Kroger haul coming out in a, in a day or so. Probably uh, maybe tomorrow uh, on Saturday. Um, so I got these there. We love Noosa. And I know the salted caramel. I think I might have had it before, but I'm not for sure. Had, it, it may have been the Wii that was something like this, the one that's O-U-I. Um, so I'm not for sure about that. It's been, if, it, if, it, if I did try it, it was a long time ago, and I don't remember. Um, but anyway, it says no artificial preservatives, gluten-free, probiotic. They spell it Y-O-G-H-U-R-T. So I, I don't know. I guess that's the way. At least that's the way they spell it. Let's see now. So there's four in here. Uh, 140 calories, uh, if, you know, if you eat one. Six grams of total fat is 8%. Uh, three and a half grams of saturated fat, 18%. No trans fat. 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 7%. 135 milligrams of sodium, 6%. 17 grams of carbs, 6%. No fiber. 17 grams of sugar and 11 grams added sugar is 22 percent it's not real bad uh six grams of protein that's good it's got 15 percent of calcium and looks like six percent of potassium so not bad so let's get one off them. See the stuff on the bottom, the caramel stuff. Oh my goodness. No, I didn't know if it had the nutrition facts on these, uh, you know, on the, on the inside, so that's why I use a pack. So, I'm gonna. Anyway. It looks like I'm gonna get this caramel. 
can't see the car at all. Hmm. And these are, if you've never had Noosa before, they're really, really good. Okay, I think I got pretty mixed up. Mm. Oh my goodness. It is delicious. It's it's fantastic, y'all. Well, um, as far as the Nutrition facts. Not real bad on saturated fat is 18% and 22% sugar. Um, you know, if you didn't have, didn't have a whole lot of sugar the rest of the day, it wouldn't be bad. This, to me, is a dessert. Like, I mean, this would work for dessert for me just fine. And it wouldn't be all that much you know, real bad for you. I'm going to give it a, um, a four and a half for nutrition because it's got, you know, probiotics and stuff in it too. It's got a lot of protein, uh, and everything like that. So, and I'm going to give it a five out of five for flavor, uh, for the taste. It's really, really good. So let me pause this cause I want to finish this now. Okay, I bet it's good with coffee too. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so that is delicious with coffee too. <laughs> I mean, drinking coffee with it, not putting coffee in it. But y'all, if you like salted caramel and uh, yogurt, you're gonna love those. Let me tell you, they they are delicious. Um, and I think it was four ninety nine, which would be like a dollar twenty five a cup. That's not real bad for Noosa. It's usually kind of high. They got the little bit bigger cup we got at the, on the Walmart haul, if you see that. Uh, go back and check that out if you'd like to see the, that size. Okay, uh, here's the tidbits. Can a solar storm plunge the Earth into an internet darkness? There is a remote possibility that people on Earth could be left without internet access for months due to a solar storm in the next decade. That would be awful. Such an event can be devastating by, ca by causing billions of dollars in losses. NASA is working to avert this and has come up with a computer model which could sound the alarm for dangerous space weather. <coughs> Mushroom shaped super plume of hot rock may be splitting Africa. That's wild. Scientists have discovered a mushroom-shaped super plume of extremely hot rock beneath Africa's surface. This scorching rock is causing strange movements in the East River Rift Valley and may be splitting the continent. It's because Earth's outer layer, lithosphere, is stretching and distorting due to the heat from deep within the Earth. Man. Galveston beachgoers warned of stinging blue, stinging blue button jellyfish. Stinging blue sea creatures have washed up on the shores of Galveston, Texas, prompting a warning to beachgoers. People are warned about the presence of Porpita por, por, Porpita Porpita, aka blue button jellyfish. While they may not pose a significant threat, their stings can cause discomfort and skin irritation, so stay vigilant while walking along the beach. And massive asteroid to make close pass by Earth. Watch live online. An asteroid known as 2019 LH5 with an estimated diameter of nearly 900 feet is set to zoom past the Earth around 4 a.m. UTC or 12 a.m. ET Eastern Time on July 7. Well, that's today. Uh, it will come within 3.5 million miles of Earth. Tune into the Virtual Telescope Project's live stream to have a captivating view of the asteroid online as it gracefully zooms past our planet. I'm sure they'll still have it available. You know, they, they'll have a video of it, I'm sure, after it's over the live. 
So I don't know if that's too, if I got it out too late, maybe. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Hey, nice news is right there. Okay. How local villagers, well, I clicked on it. Hmm? No internet. I got internet. What's up with that? Let's see. Let me try it again. Hmm. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Let's uh, try this next one, maybe. Huh. I wonder why it's doing that. Hold on. Well, I don't know what it was doing. It finally came on. Uh, this one says, world's oldest DNA paints a new picture of icy Greenland two million years ago. Scientists have uncovered the world's oldest known DNA in northern Greenland, a major discovery that sheds light on what the now barren landscape may have looked like two million years ago. Publishing their findings in Nature in December, an international team of scientists studied 41 microscopic fragments of environmental DNA, the genetic material organisms release into their environments via hair, spit, excrement, and decomposition. And the samples were taken from clay and quartz buried in sediment deposit almost 100 meters thick and were only a few millionth of a millimeter long for a press release. It says DNA can degrade quickly, but we've shown that under the right circumstances, we can now go back further in time than anyone could have dared imagine. Uh, added fellow professor to the, and co-author Kurt Kajair, the ancient DNA samples were found buried deep in sediment that had built up over 20,000 years. The sediment was eventually pre preserved in ice or permafrost and crucially not disturbed by humans for two million years. Shows a picture as if like big old, I don't know what, woolly mammoths or something. And this is, must be what the sediment stuff look like. Anyway, it goes on and on. But now it says, now that we have successfully extracted ancient DNA from clay and quartz, it may be possible that clay may have preserved ancient DNA in warm, humid environments in sites found in Africa, he said. If we can begin to explore ancient DNA in clay grains from Africa, we may be able to gather groundbreaking information about the origin of many different species, perhaps even new knowledge about the first humans and their ancestors ancestors the possibility are, are endless okay let's see I did that one already why they have some of the same ones um, let's see what that's the same thing now I can't get it to okay I think I got it now Let's see. How about gorgeous image of endangered pink dolphin wins 2023 underwater? Some kind of picture thing. It's slow. I think I need to clean my tablet. There's too much. Oh, here it is. Look at that. A beautiful image of a pink dolphin poking its nose out of the Amazon River under a pastel-hued sunset earned California resident Zat Cha Zhao the title of the 2023 Underwater Photographer of the Year. Wow, that's cool. Now, let's see if they have any. They don't have a quote today. So I think that's going to be it today for Morning Coffee Break, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. 
If you haven't watched it yet, watch Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. We had a great show. Bye, everybody, and also watch Out and About with Mike and Joy today, taking Kitty to the vet. Bye, everybody, and God bless.